the sound is really desynced. Hold on. I'm gonna hear some crackles for a minute, but they'll go away. God damn you! Threw up on me. Did I just... others on there? That nasty, nasty... Can I... I really want to get rid of this thing. This thing's gross. Uh... I don't think... Is there some... I don't think I can get rid of it yet. Can I kill it? I'll be right back in a second. I'll be right back with a second. on sale. What are you buying? I don't need to waste the money, but I want to. <laughs> Stranger. <laughs> <laughs> Thank what you. What are you buying? What are you buying? What are you buying? Come back any time. time what's up here ah there you are it's one of those stupid butterfly lamps 
I wish I didn't get rid of those one things. Enough of uh, these eye things to complete the lamp. Combine. Combine. Yay! I'm. Lever. Oh, that's no fun. Shiny over there. Must not abandon the shiny green eye. For chat has an aneurysm and dies because they're like, ah, he left one. Oh my god, I, I can't. He, no, he's gonna leave it behind. No, don't do this to me. I'm just a young boy from a young family. Okay. You're like, not this, no. Oh, by the way, hi, my name is Dan from Dan's Gaming, the face behind Dan's Game emote. I know they use that my emote for someone else often, but hi, I'm Dan, Dan's Gaming. You'd be surprised by how many people don't know who they're, what channel they're in. So hi, I'm Dan, Dan's Gaming. I broadcast every day from about 2 p.m. until midnight most every day. So, tune in often, even outside of Horror Month. After, outside of Horror Month, I will be playing, I will be doing a live unboxing of the PS4 on the 15th, and I will be playing um, Zelda Wind Waker HD on, October, on November 1st. All right, so stay tuned. Don't forget to follow. Don't forget to come back after Horror Month's over. I do broadcast every single day for many, many hours. So if you like the stream, be sure to come back. Welcome! Got some rare things on sale, stranger. I've got some things to sell what to you, you, my friend. What are you selling? I am selling my body. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank ah. you. Thank you. <laughs> ah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Is that all, stranger? Are we out of bug lamps, maybe? Is that all, stranger? Is that all, stranger? Is that all, stranger? Is that all, <laughs> Is that all stranger? Uh, Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all? <laughs> Thank you. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Thank you. Do, do, do. Come back any time. Yes. Unfortunately, when you have anything over a couple thousand viewers, chat gets tends to get a little out of control. And but 
I don't like subscriber mode. I don't like it. As I like to chat with everybody, not just certain people, not just the elites. So I leave it off because I like to chat with people. I only do it when I have to do it, and that's for certain occasions. Yeah. <laughs> um, and chat's moving so fast, it's really hard for me to have a conversation with any one person, so... It's not that I'm ignoring you, it's just that there's 5,000 other people here, so... That's just how things are. Thank you. I spent, we spent a lot of time making all the emotes, making very good ones, and so the subscriber emotes are very, very good, I must say, because we spent a lot of time making them. Especially, my favorite is the... So much stand creep everywhere. <laughs> that is the best one. We'll never make a better one than that one. <laughs> I wonder if you can see me, Mr. Kennedy. Can I fucking kill you already? If you even scratch her, I'll break your bones. First, we shall see if you can make it this far. I'll be waiting. Why do I get the feeling that those guys that are with him, the big guys, are going to be a pain in the ass to kill? I, I have this hunch that they're going to be a terrible fight. Uh, they look like Predator. I wonder if that's on purpose. They look just like, they look like Predator. Yeah. So lucky I can't aim with this shit. Man, if I had skill, you'd be so dead right now. Mm. Let me see if I. I probably can snipe him. I can do it. I will kill him. I can't let him live. I gotta blow I gotta see his place splatter. I gotta see it splatter. It can be done and it shall be done. Ha! <laughs> ha! Oh man. He wasn't very headstrong, was he? That's not how you get ahead in life. He'll never be the head of a major corporation. That was a mind-blowing experience. Ah, <sighs> sorry. Sorry. I He has a friend. Can I reach them from here? Um. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shenanny. Oh. I don't know what I just did. I 
I think it's made up a word. Shenanny. I like it. I'm gonna stick with it. I've got so much ammo, I've gotta get this guy get rid of it. So much handgun ammo. Hey my friend. Come here. Oh! I know, it's famous last words in a survival horror game. I've got so much ammo. Okay. Yeah, WWE move. They can't quite hit me right there. Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh! Oh! Oh yeah! That's what I like right there. Yes, rifle ammo. Yes, please. Got him dead. All dead. Hmm. Oh, money! I want to get him in the head. There's nothing better than seeing a zombie's head just go. <laughs> okay, maybe boobs. Okay, that zombie's head exploding is a second to boobs, but yeah. Um. Sure, I could play Jack and Dexter if you just if you could explain how that would fit into Halloween Horror Month. Because while this game is not scary, it's a action horror game, so it does count. Just get the map. Okay, no treasures. Thing on the top floor. I gotta cross there. We played Outlast on Monday, the first day of horror month, and Outlast was how can I put it? Underwhelming. It was one of those moments for me where the game for me didn't quite quite live up to the hype that I was expecting. Thanks to the efforts of the Navistadors, we have been able to recapture Ashley. We shall prepare for the sacred ritual as quickly as possible. Make Ashley an official member of the Los Illum Illuminados. While we prepare for the ritual, those of us those of you who feel inclined can attend to our American friend. We should be able to hold off our friend at our, for at least a little while by jamming the gears in the clock tower with something. If we can jam the gear in three places, it should give us enough time to repair everything for the ritual. Now, go entertain our American tourist. And yes, you're going to crash it, but the schedule for Horror Month is located below the stream. You just have to click the, um, click the pumpkin created by Julia. It's located below the channel. But the link probably won't work right away because 5,000 people are going to try to click on it at once and it's going to break. So, in, in, a, in a bit after, in a while, try again. Yeah. 5,000. My record viewer count is 6,500. I got that during The Last of Us when that first came out that are wondering what my highest has ever been. But this, today, has been the highest I've ever gotten um, for a non-new release. Just an older game. 
but a really good, well liked, super popular older game. Where did it go? It was down here somewhere. Right there, I think. Yep. Gotcha. Uh, no, 6,500 6, viewers was during The Last of Us. And by the way, we, uh, The Last of Us, my playthrough of that, will actually be tonight's recording. Those of you that haven't seen it. Wait, that means I can't go back. Yes. The Last of Us, while while very heavy on the action, is is a action horror game. It has some very tense action moments. The Last of Us is really good. I really enjoyed it. Very, it's it's very intense emotionally. Yes. I would have played Resident Evil Six. Oh my God! But that is just simply a uh, action game. There's no horror in that one. I like to pretend that the sixth game doesn't even exist. For me personally. Resident Evil 5 is, is still very it's while it's a very fun co-op shooter. It's I really feel that this Resident Evil 4 was the last one at least tried at least tried a little to be uh to be um you know more uh Matalo. At least try to, you know, be a little like survival horror instead of just straight action all the time. Well, I definitely are trying to appeal to fans of action games with this game. This is probably the last one that did it well. It's not that this game is particularly very frightening. Just, it's on the harder difficulty, you definitely do feel very, definitely tense in this game. The normal difficulty of the game is it's not too bad, but in the in the game, um, in in the, this game, if you get low on bullets and you're like there's enemies everywhere, it's like, yeah. This is my first playthrough of the game. That's why I'm playing through on normal because I want to be able to beat it. Gosh dang it. They brought back the dynamite throwers. Thought we were done with that. Oh. personally don't use uh, whether or not something scared me as a criteria for being horror necessarily because many of the games that are, that are horror games I've never really been afraid of like Resident Evil like sure it's a horror game but it has moments but I've never really was like afraid during while I was playing it. Fear is a lot of people do feel fear in horror games but not everyone. Just because I didn't, I wasn't scared by it doesn't mean it's not a horror game for me. Maybe I'm just weird like that. Um, 
because most every horror movie I've ever seen rarely ever makes me feel feel afraid. They're still horror movies. <laughs> I must say, of all the horror games I've played, I've played a lot because I've been doing horror month for four years now. The one that was the most disappointing to me was Fear. The game Fear. Because it just felt like a shooter. There was almost almost no horror in it, and it just made me, like, sad. Okay, these guys have one weakness. Corners! <laughs> but again, it's, it's just subjective. For me, fear didn't scare me at all, and it just felt like an action game. But for other people, they felt afraid and scared by fear, so... Just because I wasn't afraid of it doesn't mean it's not a horror game. It just means it's not a game that I, I enjoyed. Why not a grenade? Because I have a feeling I'm about to do a boss fight. I just get that hunch because I'm going towards a little room. And they're giving me a save point beforehand. So it makes me uh, think that, uh-oh, we're going to go to a boss fight now. Uh, yes. I do like being bald. Saves me so much money on shampoo. And combs. Don't need any of that stuff. Uh-oh. Gotcha. Oh, what the fuck was that? Did you just... I sort of knock on my door, so let me go see what the hell that was. 